The mage's expression curdles as he spots your approach. Unbelievable. You've chosen to curse me with your detestable presence once more, you ill-conceived Riki sod. He pauses his harangue... Uh, he eats a small peppermint. I pray you've earned yourself some manners. Or learned yourself some manners. I brought you some imported chocolate as a gift. Oh? His demeanor changes in an instant. Very kind of you. Very gentlemanly. May I see? He takes it from your hands. Oh, quite rare these are. And most delectable. He bites off a large piece and tucks away what's left into his tunic. So I have some questions. Friends at you licking the last of chocolate from his fingers. Who told you to bother me with inane questions? He stares at you accusingly. Come now, what is it that you wish to bother me with? Uh, what is that? What is it that you wish to bother me with? Or be gone. He fishes a, a malt ball from his sleeve and eats it. Uh, what can you tell me of Ravel Puzzlewell? At the mention of her name, he swallows the candy he's sucking on with a loud gulp, wincing in pain. What to tell? Why tell at all? Such things, such tales are best left in dusty books and in the attics of old men's minds. Evil, evil, such a name, such a name, and such dark tales swarm around it, like flies on a corpse. Well, we'll just say, just the same, I need you to tell me. He rolls his eyes, plopping another candy into his mouth. She's a night hag, my boy, who came to Sigil. All evil and cackle, she was, alive with her shadow magic, ready to butt heads with the Lady of Pain. Barmy, barmy, barmy old hag, only succeeding in getting herself mazed. She's likely dead by now. Alright, well, how might I find her? Why, why would you ask such a thing? Are you mad? What could you possibly want with such an evil creature? Well, she knows about my past. Doubtful. She was mazed many centuries ago gone, pen dead book she is, and even if she were somewise, somehow still clutching to life in her black and bloody talons, what could she possibly know about you? If she wasn't sp the spitting image of crackling evil that, that is, and was even willing to help you. Alright, look, I'll just have to cope, uh, hope she's alive and she'll help me. By Lishy's six teats and her swollen tummy, what a flickering candle of hope hurried into the hurled into the howling winds of Pendomium that is. Flicker, 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 whoosh. Don't be any more than a fool than you need to be. So if she's dead, as she most likely is, then what is it you plan, may I ask? You have everything all figured out, do you? Quell is just blowing out words out of his pits nonsense. Nothing. What do you plan to do if she's in a dead book, eh? Hmm. What do you think I should do? The first brilliant question you've asked. Me? I think I would give up this clueless idea of entering the mazes and chatting with the night hags and lo lope back into whatever crypt you crawled out of. Makes far more sense than fishing for the lady's anger, it does. <sighs> well, can you tell me how to get to her maze? Lunatic, madman, Adol Cove, have you not listened to a word I've said? She's imprisoned by an, in an interdimensional maze for trying to best the Lady of Pain. That means she's at least ten times as barmy as you, and at least a hundred times more powerful. She's also more likely dead, 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 thrice dead, and if by happenstance she isn't, she'll make you dead. Well, I understand, but I really need your help. Alright, I don't know how many times we've clicked through this. This is taking forever. Quell goes very quiet, chewing his lips. After a moment, he fishes around in his tunic for a mint, then plops it into his mouth. You're serious? Serious now? Why so serious? So bader bent So mule-stubborn? He sighs. Well, born clueless, die clueless. My journal. All mazes have portals. This much I know to be true. A way in, a way out. This is how the lady fashions them. I do not know the portal, its location, or even its form. But I am told its key is a piece of Ravel. Wait, a piece of Ravel? But if Ravel is maze, then how am I supposed to... Then you'll have to make do. Find something that has Ravel's taint in it. Or perhaps... That is all I know. All. Bother me no more about it. If you want to go pestering someone about something like that, go to the brothel of slaking intellectual lusts. One of the ladies there is bound to have met someone or know something that'll help. Thanks. 
updated my journal. Okay. Hmm. This does remind me about a quest that we were supposed to do for for uh, one of the ladies there. We were supposed to get the key to her heart, and I think that was supposed to help us uh, do something. Perhaps get the silent uh, silent sensate to talk. And he wanted, let's see, what was it that he suggested? He suggested a very particular um, potion, I seem to recall. Uh, Styx, river, uh, water from the river Styx. Done. And I'm not sure, but the curiosity shop does seem like the kind of place that would have something like that. So why don't we uh, take a quick peek? If we can't find anything there, then perhaps we'll take a break for now. Because I do need to uh, do other things. Hmm. Right, well, let's start with the exotic items. Uh, what's at the back of the store? Don't see anything front. What's a baby oil? <laughs> Thousands of mewling mortal babies went into making of the baby oil. Uh, that's kind of scary. Uh, no thanks. Elixir for fix separation. Split darker half away from her, creating two separate beings. Hmm. Well, let's read that description again. Alright, so it's kind of like Jekyll and Hyde. Which sounds kind of cool, actually. Um, do you have his tears? Uh, I'm not sure if that really would be helpful. Back of the store... Yeah. What about regular items? No, I don't think we were done looking at everything in there. Let's see what else she has. Because uh, you never know. Some of it might be useful. Exotic items. Alright, what does the tongue do? Place in the mouth of any living thing, it will give the ability of... It will give the ability of speech even if there was none before. The ability of speech, even if there was none before. You know what? That might actually be useful. But I thought, uh... I thought the water from the Styx River was supposed to be... Get the keys and... Well, maybe that was one of the other characters in there. Anyway. Uh, wise choice to copper. Alright, disappears as soon as it enters her hand. Let's take a look at what else she has here. Uh, we've already seen this. Any being turned to stone, it will revert them to flesh. Uh, wait a second. There was a statue in the, um... There was a statue in the, uh, Civic Fest Hall, wasn't there? We are starting to get a little bit low in cash. Uh, I'll take it. Oh, I want to keep going. Actually, I want to sell stuff. I think that's at this point becoming necessary. Hmm. We might have to sell that in order to uh, afford some stuff. 
Right, so bronze ring we can get rid of, copper earring we can get rid of. Yeah. Just get a little bit of money. Right, exotic items. Um, front. Yeah. Well, the codex sounds interesting. I think it. It's the kind of thing that our character would want, but he can't afford it. Let me see some of the other things. So we'll have to remember this. Back. Oh. What did I get? An ale mug of unusual manufacture, which keeps its contents, usually beer, of course, icy cold, whatever the surrounding temperature. Okay, that actually sounds a lot like. Uh, the uh, the one that that drunken mage had. What else is there? Stained lens. The width of your hand held in brushed steel ring. Uh. Okay, so it's part of a machine. Faintly of perfume. Powerful magic. An old soldier named Gisus bought it. Brought it up to me from a lower plane battlefield. He murdered his own men to escape his tour of duty there. Okay, that's disturbing. Hmm. For 149 copper. Yeah, no. No obvious use. Turning invisible is kind of useful, maybe. What's the ragdoll? Hmm. It's intended to be a replica of the Lady of Pain, but the button eyes, it's and its plush softness don't strike much fear into your heart. It's found in a well-trapped strongbox sunk deep beneath the surface of Sigil. Hmm. Well, hang on a second. Don't we know that uh, the Lady of Pain hates things that are in her image? Yeah, I think we'll avoid that one. We'll just get out of there. All right. So we bought two things, Fiend's Tongue and Gorgon's Salve. Why don't right. we... Why don't we go to the Brothel of Slaking Intellectual Lusts and give that tongue a try? Who's that? Okay, just a patron. All right. So I think it was up here, the the one who needed speech. Greetings again. I had some questions. Why can't you communicate? Oh, do you know the word that will undo the multiverse if it's spoken? Um... Her eyes widen in surprise and she gives you a beaming smile, rolling her eyes and shaking her head. Is that a yes? Like, nod or... No, I don't know. Updated my journal. Is your name Echo? Why, why was that an updated journal? Other questions? So maybe we can't use this... Tongue. Did your voice do something? Let's go with something else. Let me ask you something else. <laughs> okay. Well, that's disappointing. Maybe the tongue is for something else, or maybe... Maybe we can't do anything. Anyway, um... Huh. Well, you were the one who wanted us to, uh... Yeah, uh, get the keys to your heart back. Hmm. Alright. So, unfortunately, that did not turn out to be as helpful as I thought it would be. But we do have this, uh, Gorgon Solve, which might 
do something in the Civic Fest Hall. And if not, I think I'll call it there. Because uh, I, I really don't know what else I can do at this point. I might have to look it up. It seems like uh, there's a lot of quests and side quests that mix into the real th the real main quest and um yeah I don't want uh, I don't want my viewers to spend you know hours and hours and hours watching me try to figure this out and I also don't really want to spend hours and hours and hours uh, figuring out an item trading go game oh Gisses he's the guy who brought uh, some of the artifacts to um, uh, for Shika. Anyway. So, yeah. The statue, I think, was up here. So let's go do that. And once I give that a try... Yeah. Kisai. Say greetings. Touch a statue. Okay, like, we can't even use that, uh, this item on him, so... Alright, well, I am stumped at this point. So, I think what I will do, hopefully by now I will have some comments that help me know where to go, um, even if not, I might uh, I might just look up uh, hints for what to do next. Just because, again, I don't really want to spend forever trying to figure this out. Uh, so let's find a bed to sleep in. And we'll call that a day, or a session. So keep going eastward until we get to an attendant who will take us to dormitory or oh there's a doorway here okay there's a whole new section here which I guess we'll explore next time but in the meantime I'm just gonna try to find the guy who who will find us a room the attractive young woman smiles pleasantly greeting sir she closes her eyes and flips through a large ledger stopping at what seems to be a random page and opening her eyes once more Ah, here's your room key. She hands you a small key. The easternmost chamber's been waiting for quite some time for your return. Would you like to rest now, sir? Uh, yeah, do you know me? The clerk gives you a strange look. My legend indicates that this is your key, sir, and you've been... It has been for a good long time. If that is not so, then perhaps I'm merely mistaken. Would you like to rest now, sir? Yes, that'd be nice. Alright, I'll see you next time. Be well, and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.